Shahzad Poonawala, okay. Chinese continue to misbehave. They may have disengaged, but they haven't either de-escalated or there is no talk of de-induction, which is what the conversation was 28 months ago. And Dr. Ajay Kumar says, what are these terms of disengagement? The nation doesn't know whether the entire disengagement is on the Indian side, whether we've created a buffer zone on the Indian side. Should the government not take the opposition in confidence, sir? Uh, first of all, uh, let me... Uh, I mean, it's so intellectually bankrupt to compare an issue of domestic politics about the Bharat Jodo Yatra by, and justify what the Congress did by playing politics on an international platform where India is one. Prime Minister Modi represents me, he represents Ajay Kumar, he represents Congress, he represents BJP. But he is justifying what happened with the T-shirt and asking Sushant Sarin to comment on the T-shirt. I mean, that shows... the. But I'm glad at least Ajay Kumar accepted that Gaurav Gogoi raised a petty issue. Those are his words, not mine. But having said that, let me tell you, uh, you remember a defense minister of this country once got up in parliament and said that the best policy was not to irk China by building infrastructure along the LAC? You remember for how long that infrastructure wasn't built? Today you have a government that allows the armed forces and everybody else to do what is required, whether it's building infrastructure or whether it is looking into the eye of the Chinese at Doklam or whether it is giving them a befitting response at Galwan, which by the way the Congress party questioned and said that no, no, we did not give a befitting response at Galwan. They in fact doubted the bravery of our uh, braves also there. But having said that, let me come to a larger fundamental point. Look how the world has changed after COVID. And let's take two incidents. One is the COVID pandemic itself and let's take the Ukraine-Russia war. When the Ukraine-Russia war started, the only person or the only government that could speak to both Zelensky and to Putin was Prime Minister Modi's government. It is the fact is that we managed to rescue our citizens and in fact not just our citizens but in fact citizens of neighboring countries and we mm -hmm. did it time and again whether it was Libya, Syria, Yemen, uh, a number of uh, Operation Ganga in Afghanistan, whether it was the One Day Bharat mission. This is the power of India today. And apart from that, when it came to COVID, those who doubted that our vaccines would be BJP vaccines, those vaccines would work or not okay. work, we not only gave vaccines to all our people in India, 200 crore plus vaccine doses, but we also gave about 25 crore vaccines to 100 countries okay. through the COVAX initiative. Fair and enough, we became but the I want to stay on the, the issue of the, of the LAC. World. No, what yeah. I'm trying to say is that we have been able to establish ourselves not just LAC. as a position of pragmatism but also a position of principle where we have been able to shoulder world responsibility and therefore the world looks at us. Okay. Instead of celebrating Gaurav. that, the Congress party is trying to prove that India is weak. Gaurav. I don't okay. understand Gaurav. whose interest it's, it's, that they are Gaurav. trying to... Gaurav. Why okay. would they want to hyphenate us with Pakistan? Why would Gaurav. they want to try to show that India is not, but, is not so strong? But I think that Gaurav. hyphenation with Pakistan is gone forever. But Everyone this, is what, is. this is what Gaurav Gogi did. When you, you know, said that, look, <laughs> India and Pakistan are both in corners, that hyphenation of India with Pakistan seems to be the Gaurav, obsession of Pakistan you know, and Congress. That's one proper Pakistan that no one even talks Gaurav, about. Gaurav, okay, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar, quick 30 seconds. I've just so, got Ambassador so, Sajjan Har's line back. Go on, go on, Gaurav, Dr. Kumar. So, 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 the, so the lack of leading is one of the, one of the uh, remarkable abilities in my, our political opponents. The first question is, the people of Ladakh are saying that our grazing lands have become a buffer zone. The country wants to know. There's nothing wrong in asking. Now, if you ask the question, anti-national, Pakistani, shameless people, could we? We are just asking what the people of Ladakh, people of India want to know. Second issue is they're building structures in Arunachal. What are we planning to do? I, is looking after national interests. They are Pakistanis. They should go to Pakistan for the simple reason being asking questions to your political leaders is a primary duty of a national. What when is these questions Hello? are answered by people wearing Why the uniform, when they tell you they have conducted the surgical strike, the DGM who does the press conference, do you believe that you ask them for evidence? When the, when, when the Air Force chief tells you that you've done a Balakot airstrike, you ask them for evidence. Now the armed forces of the country are saying that we have gone back to the position before the before the entire situation developed. You are not you are not willing to believe that you are you are anti They have said very categorically what the situation on the ground is, but you don't know the country suffers. No, 